Welcome to this fire meditation. We will journey with the fire of the cosmos throughout time, with a fire that burns within us, and the fire that burns around us during these pivotal times. It is a great honor to share this meditative space with you with a sacred fire. You may be outside with a small fire into nature or with a candle in your own space. Either way, please take all necessary precautions for safety with your fire. Or you may simply choose to sit with the fire that burns inside you your life force, your spirit. Find a comfortable position, sitting or lying down, whatever feels comfortable to you. There is no right or wrong way. Take a deep breath in, Relax your body. And let your breath out. With every inhale, feel your abdomen fill with fresh air. Your chest expanding and your heart growing. With every exhale, Feel your body relaxing even more. Your feet laying comfortably on the ground and through the floor of the space where you're in. Feel that your feet are touching the surface of Mother Earth, her soil. Feel your feet heavy on the ground, the energy and the blood vessels of your soles Expand through and out of your skin and gently move into the surface of Mother Earth. Visualize that these are your roots and they go deep through all the layers of our planet, all the way into the center, the core of Gaia's heart. Feel the warmth from that core the beautiful heat emanating from the center, the core of Mother Earth, right back into your body. As you continue to breathe, feel that the rest of your body is pulled down by gravity. Your muscles and your bones are pulled gently into the embrace of the Mother. Your shoulders relax and your hands hang to your sides or onto your lap. With every exhale, remember to let go of any tension, discomfort, sadness or grief that may be burdening your physical and emotional body. Let it all go. You may choose to gently have your eyes closed or open to gaze into the flame of your candle. As you see the flame twinkle, allow your breath to join with that movement to dance gently and quietly. Now imagine you're in a beautiful cave. Before you, there is a small fire burning. You sit alone and you gaze into that fire like two very special beings 
sitting opposite of one another, looking at each other's eyes and heart, feeling each other's quintessence. You feel the warmth of the fire on your face and on your hands. You feel comforted and safe. Slowly you start to see your ancestors coming in from the depths of the cave. Slowly but surely walking towards you, smiling at you, and each one taking their place around the fire. They may be your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, all your ancestors, all of your kin, many, many generations back, are joining you around this fire right now. The first humans come in as well, those who created fire, those who made life so much easier with fire. They too come in, welcome them. As you all sit together, you share the space within your hearts, the fire that lies within each one's spirit. And like a web, your heart's fires unite with the fire at the center of the cave. You're all one and connected. One fire spirit, one being, feeling and emanating the warmth and comfort of family, of unison, of connecting with each human, each animal, plant, and mineral. We are all one. You hear the crackling sound of the burning wood and sticks, and you see tiny little sparks travel towards the tall roof of the cave. As you gently lift your head and look around and above you, you can see that the smoke of your fire has created a canvas on the walls of the cave. Slowly, the smoke recreates your ancestors' paintings on the cave's walls. Their means of communicating with you, their stories, their connections with each other, and every aspect of nature. This is their story, and how they passed their wisdom to you. You start to see all the stories of all these ancestors unfolding before your eyes, through the flames and through the smoke, as they paint and dance onto the cave's walls. Here are their stories of survival and thriving. See them being drawn onto the walls of the cave by their own hands. See their life stories, experiences and teachings, all created for you to find them here today, through the millennia. They're here to guide you and assist you and show you the way forward with the light of that same fire. As you are surrounded by all these sounds and stories of laughter and tears from generations of ancestors, you join in and share your own story. As the flames of the fire dance, they carry your voice and they unite with all the other stories. Be one human story that we are all cave painting together.
you find yourself free to express your emotions, to share what burdens you, and offer it with your voice into the echoing cave. And with your hands, make a humble offering into the flames of the fire and let it all be burnt, cleansed, consecrated. Offer to the fire your story of those things that have hurt you, of the losses that have caused you grief. Now voice the experiences that have helped you those that have helped you grow, your soul's journey, and what has assisted your spirit expand further and further into the oneness of the universe. You may also offer prayers, words, songs of gratitude for all the things that you have learned, for all those experiences, all that have helped you grow, Offer them all to the fire. And as you speak your words, as you sing your joy and your pain, as you scream your frustrations, your ancestors and everyone else around the fire join you and they build the fire stronger, brighter, higher and she takes it all she burns it all she purifies it all now visualize yourself dancing holding hands with everyone around the fire and you chant as the drums beat louder and louder You celebrate and the fire grows stronger and brighter. The fire gently dissolves the roof and the walls of the cave and now you find yourself outside in an open space under a starry sky where the fire with her beautiful flames sparks and smoke reach the heavens resounding all your drumming dancing singing laughter and cries into the heart of the creation the heart of the universe the source of fire the source of light. Your ancestors are now unseen, but still with you. Their wisdom and guidance have been passed on to you. You are not alone. You are now connected with your own heart's fire. You're strong and empowered. You gently find yourself silent, sitting opposite of your fire and gazing into her flames. Your heart beats stronger and your breath is calmer and deeper. You know your ancestors have your back. You are safe. Your true purpose on this planet feels more certain as you have just been ignited. You have been awakened by generations and generations of ancestors to finally allow for the spark in your heart 
to ignite the flames of your passionate spirit, the indomitable human spirit, and to spread and ignite the hearts of all those around you, those that are near you. You are called to ignite the hearts of the generations to come. As you sit with your sacred fire before you and within you, you feel immense gratitude for fire's gifts, her warmth, her protection, nourishment, companionship. You acknowledge the gentle power of fire to bring people together around the hearth, to sit in a circle in unison, warmth, comfort and safety, in times of joy and times of sadness. You thank the fire for these gifts. As you contemplate on fire's gifts, sitting with your fire, imagine in the distance, far away from where you are, a big, beautiful mountain. A lightning suddenly strikes the forest of that mountain and quickly catches fire. You soon become anxious and you may feel fear. You may shiver as you see the wildfire spread, consuming everything and everyone in her path. You now see fire as a fierce power of nature. You bow with reverence to her immense power to regenerate all of life, acknowledging that the process may be destructive. Fire regenerates and renews all life. Connect your heart's fire with the heart of the wildfire and accept her brilliance to burn what needs burning. Accept the sacrifice. You humbly pray for safety, for courage, for strength for all beings. You may find yourself amidst a fire that endangers you, your loved ones, nature, the planet, you may find yourself fighting the fire to protect you and all that need protection. It's all right. Remember that fire is also your family, a beloved sister, a companion, a reconstructive element of this planet. It is okay to feel fear, to shake and tremble in her presence. It is okay to stand naked with your primal emotions, like your ancestors stood in front of a mighty fire, and acknowledge how powerful and beautiful she is. You feel reverence. You can pray to her, you can ask her that all that needs to be done, be done with gentleness, compassion and respect for all life, life that has been, life that is, a new life that will be. 
for the highest good. Ask fire to see past your fear, past your quivering body, into your heart and ask her to connect your heart with hers. As you do so many times every day in your Remember her as the daybreak star, the candle on your altar, how she warms you, nourishes and comforts you. Remember your deep connection in ceremony and holding that reverent feeling in your heart. Let fear go. Offer your fear to the fire and ask her to burn it. Ask her to burn the doubt, the ambivalence, the loss of faith in moments when you feel that everything in your life and all around you are burning. Offer that primal fear to fire. Let her transform what burdens you and remember the love that connects you, the life-giving force that drives you. You acknowledge that fire is a powerful element of nature to be revered and respected. You may face fires in your personal or professional life, wildfires afflicting the planet, those that make us tremble and shake with fear. Imagine that by burning she is making a sacred offering to the heavens and offers the opportunity of a new start, a regeneration restoration, renewal. Breathe out all the fear of the destruction fire can afflict and breathe in the hope for new life. Breathe in the hope for regeneration and restoration of life on all our planet and within the core of the hearts of each and every one. Take a deep breath. Feel your body fully relaxed, knowing that you're safe and protected, knowing that fire is your sister and warms you and comforts you. Be with your fire, the fire in your newly ignited heart, and feel ready to ignite it in each and every one around you. Let the light of your fire spread like a wildfire that brings light and new life in our new earth. Slowly come back into your comfortable space with your own sacred fire, the candle flame, and feel your heart filled with gratitude for all the loving teachings that the fire has to offer. Pledge your heart's fire to do only kind and gentle work for yourself and all living beings. Spread the fire of love in every single cell in your body and let your spirit's fire brighten your auric field and everything and everyone that encounter you. Let your light be a beacon of love, 
peace and compassion to all around you. A beacon of light, a huge bonfire on top of a mountain lit for everyone to see, to be inspired, to be guided, to feel your love and peace. We all are those fire beings. We all are beings of light and love. We have been ignited and we ignite the fire of love in everything we do, in every moment, always. And with this pledge, you feel empowered and luminous burning with a desire to shine brighter into the world. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath in. Exhale. Gently feel your body twitching, moving and stretching. Breathing in the warmth of the fire of your space. Whether fireplace or bonfire or a candle, gently gaze into the flames and see how your story and all the stories of your ancestors are floating in the flames towards the twinkling stars in the sky. Feel the flame that burns in your heart as you return to the here and now, renewed. As you have walked through fire and you are reborn, please bring forth your light, your warm touch and nourish all life around you. And before I leave you, here's a short fire prayer to hold within your hearts. O oh, great spirit of fire, we come before you in humble reverence. We give gratitude for your power to bring warmth and light into our lives. Bless us with your strength and fortitude as we seek to overcome the challenges we face. Grant us the wisdom to understand how to use your power in alignment with the highest good. Teach us how to use it to create a better and brighter future. Help us to use the passion of your flames to ignite our own determination and courage. We thank you for the warmth you offer us and ask that you help us to never take it for granted. Let us feel your presence within us, inspiring us to be courageous and kind. May your fire burn within us, filling us with the light of your love and power. Bless us with your light and protect us with your strength. We send you our heartfelt thanks and appreciation. Home. 
many fire blessings to you, beloved ones. Till next time, lots of love.